15 separate fires burning up here, as you mentioned, all the way from over in the Sacramento Valley, uh, basically almost to the coast, if you count where Sonoma County's fires are burning. Um, the good news is there's no wind here right now, uh, which is really helping firefighters get a handle on the situation. It's been about 12 hours since we had significant winds in this area. I'm told over towards Sacramento there's a little more wind over there with some of the fires they're battling, uh, but it's really about battling the wind and keeping, the, keeping those fires from getting into any more homes. I had a chance to get out with it and take some video earlier before nightfall last night, and it ran across a crew, uh, two crews actually, one from Santa Cruz, California, about two hours south of here, one from Novato Fire, which is about 30 miles from here. Two crews don't know each other, uh, basically came together here in the valley to battle a, uh, and keep flames away from a home. And as the firefighters will tell you, it's a difficult situation because of the fire, but also not knowing the area. Take a listen. It makes it difficult for us. I mean, we got to get into areas that we don't really know, we never see on a daily basis, and we have to plan accordingly. So we go along the houses and we take a look at them before the fire gets there, and we decide which houses we're going to be able to save based on the preparation that the owners do, and we prep and go from there. Right now, the latest number is 1,500 um, different buildings that have been destroyed. That number is going to go up, Bill, as they get a chance to get into some more of these so areas. Unfortunately, I think you're right about that. When you think about how bad the destruction is, what sort of measure have you gotten on that? What is that structure behind you, Adam? Behind me, said, this is Signorella Winery, which is on Silverado Trail, basically one of the you know, part of the wine trail here in Napa Valley. Um, as you can see, it is completely destroyed. Uh, basically blew up last night. I said, my brother said he watched it burn to the ground. Uh, my family's house is just down the hill from here. Um, but if you head down the trail and over into Santa Rosa as well, there's a number of different neighborhoods, Bill, where the fire burned into them. Um, Santa Rosa's got it, got it really bad. Some of the hospitals had to be evacuated there. You got some video of the uh, country club area, Silverado Country Club area here in Napa. What's significant about that is just a couple of hours before the fire roared through there, they had the PGA uh, golf tournament. So you had thousands of people in town for that. Um, and literally two hours later, here comes a fire that burned down probably several hundred homes there. It's, it's just unbelievable, the destruction and how fast that fire moved. We don't get winds like this up here, Bill, in Northern California. And when you add it to those flames and that fire, or these fires, I should say, uh, it was impossible to stop.